Hello everyone. Welcome to the series exploring customized versions of Linux. This will be my final video in the series. I hope that with the previous installation guides and reviews, you can make the right decision to choose a suitable and long-term version for yourself. Today, I will be introducing POP underscore OS. POP underscore OS is a Linux operating system based on Ubuntu, developed by System76, a company well known for manufacturing Linux computers. In addition to the basic features found in other Linux based distributions, such as optimization for personal use, a focus on productivity, gaming, and software development, POP underscore OS stands out with its dedicated versions to further enhance performance on NVIDIA discrete GPUs. Let's get started. First, download the pop underscore OS ISO file. As I mentioned, there are two versions, the standard version and the customized version that supports machines with NVIDIA discrete graphics cards. You can check which version you're using by looking in the GPU1 section of the task manager. Next, use Rufus to create a bootable installation drive from the ISO file you previously downloaded. The process is almost identical to creating installation media for other distributions like Tuxedo, Cache OS, or Dpin OS. Just select the downloaded ISO file in Rufus, choose your USB drive, and follow the prompts to make it bootable. Set the boot priority to USB in the BIOS. The shortcut keys for accessing the BIOS vary depending on the manufacturer of your machine. You can refer to the instructions in the video for specific details on how to enter the BIOS and change the boot order. Next, plug the USB drive with the POP underscore OS ISO into the machine you want to install it on. When you boot the machine, it will automatically load into the operating system, allowing you to try it out before deciding whether to proceed with the installation. This process usually takes about 5 minutes. At the installation screen, click on the install icon. Then, select your preferred language, choose your keyboard layout, and click on Clean Install to completely install the operating system onto your computer. Select the disk where you want to install the operating system. Make sure to choose the correct drive, as this will be the one that gets formatted and used for the installation. Set your username and password, then click on Don't Encrypt if you do not wish to encrypt your data for additional protection. If you prefer not to use encryption, this will allow you to proceed with the installation without that extra layer of security. The installation process takes about 10 minutes, which is significantly faster than Tuxedo OS. Once you see the notification to reboot, click on Reboot Now and remove the USB drive from the computer. The system will then restart and boot into pop underscore OS. After the reboot, the first thing you should do with any Linux-based operating system, including Ubuntu-based ones like pop underscore OS, is to update your system. Open the terminal and run the following command, sudo apt update. This will refresh your package lists. Afterward, you can use sudo apt upgrade to update all installed packages. Additionally, you can access the software center or app store to update any pre-installed applications that might have newer versions available. Pop underscore OS it offers a massive software repository, 
providing access to thousands of applications for all kinds of tasks. One of the standout features of Pop underscore OS is its highly customizable interface, allowing users to tailor the look and feel of their system to suit their preferences. The operating system is optimized for speed, delivering faster performance compared to many other operating systems, especially when paired with NVIDIA discrete graphics cards. This makes POP underscore OS an excellent choice for gamers, developers, and power users who need high performance, stability, and flexibility. Once again, I would like to conclude this series on installing customized Linux distributions here. In the next section, I will focus on methods for installing Mac OS on Windows, as I've done before. Please continue to support, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.